to um, maybe for us to use that, bring in that be gentle with yourself some. Because um, that's probably the biggest way to kind of delay the process is to, like ego sabotage when you start to get too hard on yourself, get into judgment, doubt, comparison, and um, Helena has got this song compared some friends of ours, uh, Oman Ken wrote this uh, song called Be Gentle With Yourself and it was such an impactful song that we, uh, we brought it along. Did you bring, um, do we have any uh, handouts of that? After, okay. You can relax now. Oh, okay. Who is it by? Well, originally, I think. I think Michael Stillwater might have written it, but it's been performed by a number of artists. Um, Susan McCullum was the one that I first heard it from. Now Helena's got her own version. <laughs> Changes all so fast. 
Be gentle with yourself, the sun shall rise again, a new day will begin. Inside we're all the same, there's a light that tries to shine out in everything we say and do. Outside it's just a game, but the roles we sometimes play by. Won't let the light shine through. Let the light shine through. Let the light shine through. Be gentle with yourself. Inside we're all the same. Be gentle with yourself. Outside it's just a game Christian tradition, Good Friday, the day that Jesus was crucified. We have 20 copies, so maybe if you can share. Yeah, if there's somebody near you. And so, in A Course in Miracles, Jesus says, you, you have reacted often as if you are being crucified. Every time we we get upset every time we feel hurt or pain, suffering, anger, jealousy, envy, you know, any upsetting emotion. It's like what that is, is holding on to the crucifixion in your own mind. Uh, because who you are is the Buddha nature, is the Christ, is the eternal. And to cover that over with thoughts that you could be something else, that's the crucifixion. It's a, it's a mental crucifixion. And just like you don't escape from this world just by dying, uh, you could say that the crucifixion and the resurrection was just like a little skit or a symbol that you have to resurrect your mind. You have to reach a state of peace in order to know peace eternal. You have to reach a state of happiness to know eternal happiness. You don't reach life, eternal life, through death. Even though they put that sometimes on the funeral gravestones, you know, rest in peace. <laughs> and suicide is certainly not an answer. You know, you just don't die and go, oh. But it was a really horrific suicide, but now they're in a better place. They're with God now. Uh, you don't just, you don't die to reach eternal life. You have to resurrect your mind, which is what we've been talking about, forgiveness. But I thought this song would be a great one to do as a little bit of a, a sing-along for all of us on what seems to be Good Friday, to remind us that whenever we're tempted to crucify ourselves and beat ourselves up with judgments, to be gentle. That's what love wants. Love wants us to be gentle with ourselves, to be soft. Just gently let it go, just yield back into that presence. So I think this is a very healing song. And are we going to have uh, Shanti? Yeah. Okay, we'll have the original artist Shanti singing this with her angelic voice. And we'll all sing, we'll be the choir of angels uh, to sing along with Shanti. Be gentle with yourself. Thank you. 
suffering and penance and, you know, the blood of the lamb, the innocent lamb slain for the sins of mankind, all this craziness. It's no wonder people get so turned off by that story, because it's the ego's version of the story, you know. And it's still full of guilt and pain and shame. Shame that people feel like, well, you know, it just distorts the view of the world. So, we're going for the soft resurrection here on Easter weekend. <laughs>